Hello, cyber friends. I hope you're all doing wonderful and fabulous as usual. This is my Mila Kunis inspired look from the cover of Allure. Enjoy. Okay, team, I'm gonna start with skin. Um, okay, first things first, I'm gonna use this fancy Chanel foundation brush and a little bit of my Studio Finish Concealer from MAC, and I'm just gonna even out around my nose, under my eyes, and just cover up anything that needs to be covered. Nothing too exciting in the skin land. The lips in this look are very light, so I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lips. So now they're gone. Bye-bye, lips. Now I mentioned this sheer cover powder in a tutorial I did last week and it's really great and I'm gonna put a little bit on just to continue to even out my skin tone and keep me from looking oily or greasy or whatever. Mila has some serious brow action going on and I could not be more obsessed with it. So I am gonna fill mine in as much as possible, darken them up a little bit, extend them, and the way I'm going to do that is by getting this stiff little angled brush from MAC and Embark Shadow also from MAC, but any stiff brush and any sort of dark um, matte shadow will work depending on whatever your hair color is. Try and find something that's pretty close or maybe um, even a few shades darker. So getting a little product on there, tappy tappy tapperson, and then applying, extending, extending, applying until they look fiercey. Now, if at any point you wanna run a um, like brow comb type thingy like this through to kind of blend it in, even it out, go ahead and do that. And um, I'm gonna kind of brush my brows up a little bit so that they kind of look even thicker. And just blending in the product with the brows. This look is just all about those big, sexy Priscilla Presley um, eyes that are like this big. So to achieve a similar kind of look, first thing I'm gonna do is um, make sure that I have a lot of concealer applied on my eyelid. This is gonna act as my base. So if you didn't get a chance to put a little concealer on there, go ahead and do that now. So just putting it all over my lid. Now with a fluffy brush like this guy and a nice kind of um, neutral toned grayish matte shadow, it can be from anywhere, but this is Bark from MAC, I am gonna sweep my brush in there and it's almost gone and um, get a nice little amount of product on there, tap at any excess, and then I'm gonna just swirl this around and concentrate on keeping it right on my actual eyelid. So no need to bring it too high, you just wanna focus on putting it right on the lid. Now I'm gonna take a, um, my gel liner in black from Physicians Formula and a stiff angled brush like this one, and I'm gonna get quite a bit of product on that brush. Of course, wipe off any excess. I don't want this all clumpy. And then I'm gonna make a very thick line on top of my eyes. So starting at the very inner corner of my eye and then going all the way out and extending it a little and doing just a subtle cat eye. And make sure you put um, some product on your upper waterline. And of course you wanna do your best to even them out. And remember, if you make any mistakes, eye makeup remover and Q-tips will be your BFF, I promise. It takes years to perfect this skill. <laughs> Now, what I'm gonna do is grab the same brush, but as you can see, this is a clean one, and I'm gonna take that same shadow that I used on my brows, Embark from MAC, and I'm just gonna run this along the top line that I just created. So I'm kind of smudging it a smidge, and then I'm just sort of softening it up with the brown, but um, when I add the two together, it looks really dramatic. So hopefully you guys can see that the drama is definitely still there, but it's not as harsh of a line and um, the brown shadow just kind of, like I said, smooths it out a little bit more and makes it look maybe a little bit more sultry. Now for the line on the bottom, I'm actually just gonna use a black pencil. This is from Jane Eardale and it's just black. Make sure it's nice and sharp. And I am just gonna line starting from the outer corner all the way in. Okay, now we're gonna do the same kind of thing um, that we did on top, on the bottom. So grabbing my stiff angled brush again and the same Embark shadow, and I'm just gonna retrace my steps on the bottom line too. Now, if at any point along this process, 
um, you've noticed a little spillage underneath, don't worry because you can just clean that up with concealer. So you can grab your foundation brush, a concealer brush, anything kind of stiff like this, and then dip it in concealer um, or foundation if you want, but I usually like to use concealer, and then just kind of sweep it up. So this way you're brightening underneath your eyes and you're also getting rid of any fallout that might have happened. Mascara time. Voluminous by L'Oreal. Maybe she's born with it. That's not Voluminous's motto. Um, I'm gonna apply uh, quite a few coats on the top and the bottom. Ten thousand coats of mascara later, I think we might be done. So moving on to skin, I am just gonna do a little swipe of bronzer. It doesn't look like she has much going on in terms of blush. Um, her skin looks just very fair in porcelain. So I'm gonna grab a matte bronzer. This is from NYX, and it's the light color. And then just this fat, fun brush from Mac, little Dippy McDipperson, and then just brighten up my face a little bit. Now again, the lips are very, very light, almost non-existent and nude, and I chose Myth from MAC, and I'm just gonna swipe it all over my lips. Well, that's it, cyber friends. I hope you enjoyed this Mila Kunis look from the cover of Allure magazine. And I hope you like, comment, tweet, subscribe, share this with your friends, try it at home. And I definitely hope more than anything that you guys have a wonderful, fabulous day. So until next time, gotta go.